One of the best ways to strengthen and tonify and improve the functioning of your immune system is through the regular consumption and ingestion of substances that contain polysaccharides. Now you may have heard, heard of these chemicals before, this substance before, because it's really gaining a lot of popularity and notoriety in the whole health community as we're really starting to understand that a lot of health conditions, a lot of you know, autoimmune conditions are all of course relating back to the immune response and how intelligent our immune system is. And we're starting to understand that there are things that we can do, things that we can take and ingest that will make our immune system more intelligent, able to discern between good and bad, able to calm down autoimmune conditions and able to bring up or tone up or strengthen, uh, weaken the We're realizing conditions. that wherever our immune system's at, there are strategies that we can take to restore balance, to restore homeostasis, and just take our immune system functioning to the next level. Now the best way to improve your immune system is through taking things that contain polysaccharides, of course. So what are the best sources of polysaccharides as a food, as a supplement, as an herb? There are a few foods that contain polysaccharides like blue-green algae, like goji berries, like aloe vera, like noni. And there are also many herbs that contain these polysaccharides and mainly the medicinal mushrooms are the best sources of that. And my favorite personally would be reishi or cordyceps. Chaga is also a great source of that. But for me personally, right now I'm doing a lot of uh, reishi and cordyceps and goji because you can get um, you know, a goji extract that'll have 30 to 40% polysaccharides. Whereas if you just eat a handful of gojis, you'll get a little bit, but it's not really that absorbable just because you can't really chew it down and, br and break it up enough just because it's so you know, bound up in the fibers. Likewise, you can't really just go out and eat medicinal mushrooms because the, the polysaccharides, the beta-glucans, these chemicals are bound up in the chitin and we need some sort of extraction process to really you know, bring these things out, whether that's a tea or a tincture or buying a concentrated extract powder. We need some sort of process to, to make these chemicals bioavailable so that we can get them. We also need a process to really concentrate it down so we don't have to take quite as much, we don't have to spend quite as much, and we can get a lot more in you know, a small space. So again, these polysaccharides, when we take them over the long term, because it's not something that we're just going to take for a week, it's not something that's going to function like an immune stimulant to where, you know, if you start to get sick, you might want to just take a round of echinacea, your round of garlic and onion, and start to really hit antibiotic herbs that are very immune stimulating. But that's not something you want to do every day for the long term. And these mushrooms are kind of functioning on slightly different uh, frequency than that. Whereas there's something you want to take regularly over the long term and much like going to the gym, much like any other exercise or health promoting program, the more and the longer you do it and the more regular and consistent you are, the better the benefits you're going to get. Because if you just went out and went to the gym once a month or twice a year, you're not really going to get the benefits as if you did it you know, three to five times a week or if you're more regular and consistent and disciplined with your efforts. And it's, you know, it's the same thing with these, with these substances that we're ingesting through taking the mushrooms, through taking goji, through eating fresh aloe vera, through eating blue green algae. And you know, of course, an easy way to really get all this in your body, to get all this in your system, is through making an elixir where you can add in you know, your goji extract, reishi extract, um, you know, have your chaga tea, have your cordyceps extract, and goji extract, aloe vera, all of these things, and blue green algae, all in one drink to where you get a huge variety, a huge array of polysaccharides, all in one drink, which has never really been possible before in human history. You know, one culture might have just been lucky if they had one of these foods, much less all of them in the same drink in something that's delicious and that we can have all the time in such an easy way. So. The last point I want to bring up is that it's good to kind of mix and match and combine these different sources of polysaccharides together because much like you know each person, each plant has its own kind of personality for you know the way its polysaccharides are. You know, just like you know, every plant is slightly different, it's not identical, and 
you know, we all have our own personality, so likewise, you put a bunch of people together in a group and you get a totally different synergy than if you just had, you know, each person in an individual. It's just like, you know, if you have a great band and they all, they're all coming together and they're all really, you know, really well together and they produce this great music, but then you kind of break them apart and maybe they have one good solo album or, you know, one good solo single and they all try to branch out, but it really, it just not, it's not as good. It's not, the synergy's not there, the magic's not there, the music's not quite what it could have been when they were all working together. So that's the best way to help boost your immune system, to balance your immune system, to restore homeostasis. And it's a long-term strategy. It's a balanced, sustainable strategy. It's not something that's gonna throw you one way or the other because these polysaccharides are intelligent and they can sense if you're deficient, they can sense if you're excessive and just go in and intelligently balance and restore homeostasis without flipping you you know, into a pretty extreme situation like a lot of immune herbs can do.